Hey guys, got my 1022 tape down here with me today, and I've shown this on several videos, but got a little project that I want to do for it, and I'm hoping that it's going to work, so I figured I'd bring you guys along for the project. I like this little rifle, uh, I like the bag, uh, so like right now, the way I have it set up is I have an SR-22 up here in this pocket, and then some CCI uh, quiets and down here in this pocket I got a couple of the BX 25s and then some mini mags that's usually full I usually keep a hundred in it but I was at the range a few days ago and then inside it's pretty much just the normal stuff in the big, big pocket. I keep the receiver along with that bug buster scope. Highly, highly, highly recommend that scope for it. It's awesome. And then over here, there's two pockets. And in the one, I just basically keep the barrel and that's it. I'll put this together here. So there's an extra pocket here and my project was I would like to be able to add a bipod to this rifle. Um, when I go to the range, I always take these foam action sports, the shooting rests, and there's actually been a couple times that I have forgotten them and not a huge deal. I can still shoot and everything, but... I kind of thought, wouldn't it be nice if I could maybe, and I don't know if it will or not, but fit a bipod into this extra hole right here. Um, but there is no way to mount a bipod on this. And so what I did was I ended up buying this kit right here from Uncle Mike's. I got it from Amazon. I think I paid like 12 bucks for it. And it comes with a couple of these sling mounts and down in here are like these screws and what most people do is they will screw into like the fore end somewhere or screw into the stock back here they'll drill a hole and then they'll take those and basically twist those into that well i don't want to do that so let me open up this thing here and i'll show you what else what my idea is so yeah this is what comes in that kit there what I showed and then these like little washers that go in there when you screw it in and that would give you like your mounting point uh, either for these swivels here um, or for a bipod but again I don't want to screw into my rifle well also included in that kit is this little stud right here and this is what my plan is so basically I paid twelve dollars for this little stud and so what I'm hoping to do is to remove this nut right here on the barrel band with this bolt nut and what I want to try to do you can see how the barrel band is real tight together there I want to try to slide this in through here and then put that screw and stuff back through it and then that would give me that stud open on the bottom So just a regular screwdriver removes that bolt and nut that was inside that. So we'll see if that thing will even fit now. So basically this is what I'm thinking here. So that's the barrel band. I shove that up in between there. And what I might do is trim. I'll take like a Dremel and maybe trim just a little bit of this material off on each side. It fits in there, but that's kind of a big gap so I'd like to maybe reduce that just a little bit all right so here's after just a minute or two using the Dremel I don't know exactly how much material I took off um, maybe a few millimeters or whatever from each side and what I'll do is I'll just put some like I have some like black like automotive like touch-up paint and I'll just repaint that if it works so I put it on and it looks basically how I want it to be but it's too loose 
So I'm either going to try to take some more material off or it just may not work, but we'll keep trying. Okay, so I took off a little more material. I'm getting it fairly thin now. Um, one thing I'll tell you on this obviously is just kind of take off a little bit, try it, take off a little bit, try it. Um, I don't even know if this whole project is even gonna work or not, um, but don't take off too much and make like the tip right here weak to where that would crack. So definitely leave enough material if you try this project. So we'll find out if this is gonna work now. I thought for sure it was gonna work that time because I took quite a bit of material off, but it'll still, if I, I mean, it's pretty tight, but if I really force it, I can still get it to slide off. So I am gonna try to take just a little bit more off. That last little bit of trimming definitely did the trick. It is solid now, won't move. So this is down here, might have to straighten that out a little bit, but so let me get this straightened out and we'll see if a bipod will even mount to this. So I started trying to put this bipod on and it will not work. Um, if you look here, it's crooked. And the reason is that stupid screw right, or the bolt right there. As I try to tighten that up, the bolt is hitting that material. And I could probably shave off that bolt, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'll just chalk it up as a $12 loss and try something different. You know, I think even if I were to shave that bolt like flush there, the head of the bolt still sticks out over here. So I still don't think it's gonna fit through that. So what I just found out is even with the bolt completely removed, it still will not drop down in that. Um, so this is, it's actually hitting like front to back, um, not side to side, but yeah, it will not drop down in there. So either I'm gonna have to, I'd have to shave some of the plastic off, which would make that kind of weak, or I would, I'd have to trim some of that there to make that opening bigger and plus still shave the bolt. So we'll figure something else out. So there are companies that sell a replacement barrel band uh, that has basically like a Picatinny rail underneath of it. I'll show you a picture of it here. Um, the problem I, I don't like those because like if you have like a hairstyle bipod, you then have to take this thing, uh, which is more or less like a Picatinny adapter. You put this, so this would go more or less on the, the rail that's there now. And then this would go on here. And it adds like this much distance between like the fore end and the bipod. I'll show you a picture of this. Now. In, in my opinion, it just looks really weird. So this is what I've decided to try to go with. It's one of the clamp-on style bipods. And again, it won't be used all the time. Really, it's just kind of if I forget my shooting rest or something. Um, I think for a lot of rifles, you know, maybe like a, a 243, a 270, a 308, maybe even like a 223, uh, 556, the clamp-on style might not be the best choice for those. Uh, but I think for a 22, I don't think it's going to affect accuracy or anything. So let's get this out and kind of see what it's going to look like. So this bipod was less than 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's a six to nine inch adjustable. Uh, so basically you would turn this here to open it up. And then if you want to distance in between that, you just push it to where you want it. And then you just tighten it. You know, if you want it shorter, you just tighten it. So it's kind of like infinite adjustment for that, you know, three or four inches or whatever there. Um, and it's not like the kind where it clicks into each spot. So yeah, if you want it there, you just put it there. And I guess the only kind of downside to that is the click ones, you know that you're exactly level on the two. Um, I'll probably just do fully closed or fully open. Um, and then like these here, these little levers, you just pull down on that and then it straightens the legs out and then they lock in place real solid. And then this is the part here that'll go on the barrel. I'll show you how to get that open in a second. And to open the top here, if you can see there's a little spring right there. See it there? You just push it on this 
that opens up, you rest your barrel down in it. And then to close it, you, you have to do the same thing. You gotta push that to allow that to go past and then it locks it in. And then this here is how you're gonna adjust it for whatever the diameter of your barrel is. I did wanna show you before I put it in there that it does have like this little like padding. It almost looks like Velcro, but it's like a real soft line padding. That way it doesn't scratch a barrel or anything. And obviously then the idea is just to put it in there, let that thing lock down, and then just tighten it up against it. That's pretty snug. Try to get a little bit tighter. And then just like that. And then you could still fold them up and out of the way if you needed to. And then this is what it looks like on the rifle. So I guess first things first is I need to make sure that this is even gonna fit in the, um, the bag here or it kind of defeats the purpose of me buying it in the first place. Cause I would just as easily forget this as what I would those foam rests. All right, let's see if it goes down in here. Oh, yeah. Slide it all the way to the bottom, and it still gives me that much room for more ammo or whatever else I want to put in there. Let's make sure that everything else is going to fit and the bag's still going to close and fold. And, and then hopefully here in the next few days, I'll be able to get to the range again. Uh, get some video, make sure that the accuracy is not really affected by that bipod. 200 rounds of mini mags, kind of put them together and they'll slide right in here too, still with a lot of room to spare. And the bag still closes perfectly fine, zips fine. So it gives me several hundred rounds of ammo plus multiple guns in it all a nice little package but all right out to the range to kind of check out the accuracy of this little bipod on the 1022 i will be shooting uh, the ar tacticals the ccis all right so here's my setup got the uh, distance or parallax set at 50. got the target down there 50 yards away All right, so hopefully you could see in that range footage that this was very, very stable uh, with this clamp-on bipod. Overall, uh, that best sight bipod, I really do recommend it. I know it's not gonna be for every rifle. Anything that's high power, it might throw your accuracy off a little bit. Um, I think it's still better than, you know, freehand in it. So, if anybody's interested in that, like I said, it was less than 20 bucks on Amazon. I will leave a link to it down below. So, all right, guys, that's it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.